Ronaldinho has enough. He's boycotting Brazil national team. Literally. And I don't blame him. Can you really blame Ronaldinho for saying what he just said? Because Brazil is not the same Brazil. Every single year, they are getting worse and worse. Moving from, see, what is going on with Brazilian football? Why people are not watching Brazil the way they used to years ago? Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. If you want to help the channel, my friends, take one second to give me one like and it will be much, much appreciated. Fabrizio Romano is uh, quoting here from the interview he gave to, I don't know, ESPN or TNT. Ronaldinho says, I quote, that is, that it is, guys. I will not watch any Brazilian game at Copa America nor celebrate any victory. Well, he might change it if they won if they win the Copa America. I can't even speak today. What's going on with me? So he won't even celebrate if they win the Copa America at the end. Let's continue. I've heard enough. It's a sad moment for those who love Brazilian football. It's hard now to find the spirit to watch the game. Yeah, it's hard. You expect more dance than more spectacular. You know, it's it, Brazil is is done. It's just a bunch of people who call them superstars, who act and play more like superstars than people who really work very hard and sweat for the country. Before, listen, don't get me wrong. Even Ronaldinho, Romario, you know, Ronaldo you know, the Brazilian, the original one, they used to get money, but money comes second. They used to spend a lot of time in Brazil, learning the trend, playing on the street, allowed to play football the way they know it. Today, it's a lot of structure. Everything is in a cage. You have to do this. You have to do that. They don't allow players to play football anymore it uh, even if you dribble past people you create all kind of spectacle you score goals the coach is gonna take you out because you didn't respect the principles you didn't respect what he told you to do let's continue he says it's one of the worst teams in the recent years no respectable leaders only average players for the majority <laughs> i don't know how those players are gonna feel for somebody like Ron ronaldino that they will been watching and kind of their role model to to say that but he's right i think ronaldino is speaking fact here he's saying what everybody think about brazil at the moment what everybody is talking behind closed doors but ronaldino is coming up like Everybody can feel it. Everybody can be a Ronaldinho. Agree with Roni. He's right. One of the worst teams. There is no leaders and all that. How can you leave Thiago Silva out of this team? Yeah, he's 39 years old. But just have him in the team. Play him a few games. And people will respect him. Who is the, the, the charismatic leader in that Brazilian team? Nobody. It's a bunch of... TikTok influencers over there. You see them dancing all the time with their girlfriends and wives. They spend more money on, you know, on not more money, more time on looking good on Instagram and having too many tattoos all over the body, you know. And and they are big star. That is the social media era that we are living in. Look at Anthony. Some people dare even to say he's the next Ronaldinho. Are you kidding me? Are you serious with yourself, Ronaldinho? Our performance has been one of the worst things I've ever seen. It's such a shame. It's such a shame, people. Such a shame. I don't blame him. 
I think Brazil, since they started selling young, young people, young players, you are 16, 17 years old. You have a deal with Nike, Adidas. You have a, a huge contract to move to Europe. You don't learn. You don't finish your formation. You don't finish your training in Brazil. You don't care about playing your football and enjoy football anymore. You care about how much money I'm going to make and how I'm going to make my family better and what is the next big car that I'll be buying. So look at this team here. Ronaldo, Kaka, <laughs> Ronaldinho. It's just scary. You see them. You know, before even the game start, you know you're going to get the beating of your life. You're afraid. The fear factor is there. Can you really blame him? I don't think so. I don't think so. And Brazil, they have a long way to go. <laughs> Football Chelsea say that he understand that. Uh, when Ronaldinho speaks, you listen, according to Ada. What is happening to Brazil, according to Megaspo? Uh, Joga not bonito. Okay, all right. So Joga bonito means the beautiful game, but the game with no beauty. Basically, that's what is said here. <laughs> so this is what Brazil got right now. Anthony. <laughs> Anthony spinning the ball. And uh, some young generation will call him a bowler because he's doing that. And what, what do you expect from a team that just dance, dance? They practice, they practice how they're going to celebrate when, when they score a goal and all that. Oh, man. So when the legend like Ronaldinho speaks, you listen. And he just speaking fact here. And I don't think Brazilian football is going to be the same anymore. All the youngsters are immediately sent to Europe for money. Uh, pure talent are not there anymore. They are there, but still, you know, you're going to send somebody like David Washington to Chelsea. He's going to be put in a certain structure. And then he kills his natural ability of dribbling, uh, you know, having fun on the pitch because it's about money. It's about get the result no matter what. Get the result no matter what. Sad. Sad, man. Roberto Carlos will watch this and like, what happened to my team? What happened to my country? This is very, very sad. Ah, oh, back in the day, we used to have Maradona from Argentina and you have Pele. I never watched them, of course, but you know, if you look at their history, it was never about money. It was all about enjoy your football first and everything else is going to be a bonus. <laughs> look at this guy here. He said, Anthony, Rodrigo, Vinicius Jr., Richarlison, Rafinha, Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus, Neymar Santos Jr., uh, was the last uh, Joga Bonito, blah, blah, blah. I think uh, Vinicius Jr. is still there. Vinicius Jr. is a little bit of a drama kind of guy that can frustrate you easily. But he still got some, you know, that uh, Joga, Joga Bonito, beautiful game. So Vinicius Jr. is a particular case. But Richarlison, Rafinha, Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus, all of them are just good players in a certain level, but not, you know, in the level of the legends.